All right, let's jump back into these community chambers. We're going to start off tonight with a map from Klaus, and this one is called System. Uh, it is all a system, or is it? System is I th is a, I think, 2 out of 10 difficulty puzzle, no cube, tossing ninja minions, glitches, cheats, all needed to solve this map. Now, I will be a bit skeptical on that 2 out of 10, because I'm pretty sure the last map we played from Klaus was like a 4 or a 5. And it took us a good few hours to solve. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll judge that one once we are finished. Uh, all right. So, let's say it looks like we're going to do some cube tipping, like cow tipping, but cubes and lasers. This looks like it's a bit of a tutorial. That. Just saying. Alright, so we've got some yellow fields. Uh, let's have a look over here, see what we got. Kind of, uh. Uh, random, random sort of like rant coming up. Well, it's not really a rant, but random kind of like train of thought. I, am. Um, spent some time today actually watching one of my old videos. I got a message from YouTube to say that it, um, it said my, uh, video wasn't suitable for advertisers for some reason and it was a video from almost five years ago uh, 2016 December 2016 it was a JBG map called is for seniors and like no word of a lie like watching that back like I, I don't know I, I wouldn't say that I don't have the energy for but the like the amount of energy I like used to have in my videos was like crazy especially when like i didn't used to uh, stream everything back in the day i did actually used to sit here and record stuff on my own it was just like i was just, like having a laugh a joke i was singing i always used to sing on the streams anyway that's uh, nothing new but i was like man what i yeah where did that go i'd love to get back to that it's uh pretty freaking epic to watch back like some of the stuff i used to have like little um intros on my videos and stuff where like behind the scenes footage and stuff it's crazy imagine if people made more interesting puzzles for portal 2 six sense motion pack it's real shame that the razor hide failed and six sense dlc is no longer kept today yeah I don't, I don't really know to be honest i don't really know a lot about that coco if i'm honest obviously i've uh i've seen on the uh on the store that's about as far as i go my knowledge on that. Why was it flagged for advertising? I don't know. The only thing I can think is because the map was literally called um, It's for Seniors. And it was, first of all, it, I don't know why it was marked as like not appropriate for all advertisers, but it was marked as um, age restricted content. And the only reason I can think is like the YouTube algorithm and the bots kind of decided that because I used the word senior in the video title. Um, it was like, yeah, uh, you're you're not allowed this one on YouTube. Sorry, guy. We're sorry. That's the only thing I could have thought I, I could think of, to be fair. And the only reason why I consider it would have been um, age restricted. All right. So what are we gonna do here? We got a boot on. Sounds like one of those cubes vomited to its death. So what I was thinking, I was wondering if I could jump on that and utilize that. I don't think I can, but potentially I could... No, angle panels are a little bit finicky at the best of times to use but we could potentially do something like this shoot the portal off over there you say bye red cube Adam I think it's more like bye bye knock <laughs> alright well we've just ascertained that uh, that doesn't work bravo 
DBG number one. All right, so I think we've potentially made the mistake there. Ride this back up over here. Keep the ball on that side. Let's take the cube through over here. Oh, well, we can't take the cube through there, can we? No, we cannot. Uh, well, we can't there, but we could do is we could do this. Now, that could potentially be classed as a... Um, that could be potentially classed as a bit of a ninja move, because I threw the cube in the air, so... Uh, not particularly happy about doing that. I'm honest. Oh, I could have just, like, probably bounced this on the floor and then done it. Because the first bounce of a cube is always just straight up, isn't it? So... Still do this. This is a ninja. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't consider that ninja. I never, I've never like looked too much into the Sixth Sense DLC. But you're able to reach out far and rotate the key with the motion controls, as well as slide and rotate your portals with the portal gun. A uh, neat six cents only cube that you can rescale dynamically on any axis using the portal gun. Wow, okay. Alright, let's uh let's grab a save there for the time being. So that just turns on that fizzler there. That kind of suggests to me. Okay, I think what we're going to need to do here is have a cube pointing down. It suggests to me that like we're going to have a cube there at some point. That's going to point through there into there. Okay, so we need to. We need to. We need to. I don't know how we're going to get that red cube. Red cube is going to drop straight into the drink. So I wonder there might be a light bridge somewhere a little bit further on in the map. Uh, don't tell me anything. I don't want to hear anything about our game, um, Deathwish. I actually um, received a gift copy of it today from a very generous donator. And um, we'll be playing it on the stream. And they advised me, like, literally go in completely blind without knowing anything about it, which I intend to do. So, um, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I literally don't know anything about the game at all. Um, I've heard a couple of little bits and pieces, but other than that. I know nothing. Alright, so if I had the other cube, I could keep that disabled and I could drag a cube through here, which is probably how we're going to get the second cube in here. Without the cube there, however, there is no way that we can target that. Alright, so how do we go about getting a second cube? Now, I also wonder... We probably need some gel on there. Alright, so. Let us... Let's do this. Mm. 
And then, if my... My thoughts are correct, I think this button through here should be dot. And that will give me a gel bomb. Which I can coat that side. And now... Remember how I got up here now. I think I literally just did that. That. Don't know how that helps me so much at the minute. Yeah, I done that. I've done that recently with a couple of games, like the Final Fantasy VII remake and the Resident Evil Two remake. When I played both of those, I like I, I didn't watch anything and I didn't know anything about them, despite like playing them a year after they released. And I'm really glad that I did because I just feel like the experience I had with them was just like absolutely amazing. There's some interesting ETS stuff going. Oh, hello. Hello. You're my new friend. So there is some uh, rather interesting behind the scenes stuff going on here. Yo, Perga Green, what's going on? He's going to sleep in a minute, but just checking in for a while. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate anybody, even if they're just popping in to uh, saying hi. It's always good to see people. Welcome, welcome. Hope you are well. And all right, so how how on earth would we get that other cube? It's conundrum number one. Conundrum number two is. Yeah, I, f I feel like sometimes if you if you go in based like having seen something before, I think you can avoid you can. Um, and this doesn't just like relate to games and movies; it can relate to the kind of like like meeting new people as well. I feel like sometimes you can build up an opinion of something or someone before you've actually had a, a proper chance to experience them. And um, yeah, obviously you then go in with a kind of like a skewed opinion. You're on the, your uh, school holidays. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, my, my son's on school holiday. My daughter isn't. She's still at school, but uh, my son's uh, on a two-week half-term break. Where have we stood here? Alright, Doctress, no worries. We might be here for a while yet, so uh, don't panic. I need to put this down and then do the fling through here once it's down, but... Thank you. 
game's broken. <laughs> See, this is why I was a bit like Klaus saying 2 out of 10 after the last map. The saying 2 out of 10. Blame on the space pill. No, man. I'm trying to, you know. Oh, of course. Alright, I'm being dumb. Nox being dumb. Alright, I got this. This is in what we need to do. I sin it, boys and girls. I sin it. Cubes acquired. Alright, so now. Now I can do the thing with the thing. So. We will do this and this. Put a portal surface on here. Blue clicky, blue, blue, blue cube. You yeah, know, went to prop school, me. Blue cube goes there. Red cube goes there. Now, problem. we could set this up from could jump across there and jump over need to try and get a portal on the other side though, so let's not do that. Bring this down via here. want to do this like portalless though didn't we so Mika thanks for hanging buddy appreciate it have a good sleep yeah the problem with this is we need to do this um Thing I just said. I have a new plan. Let's grab everything I said before. I mean, some of it still reigns true. Alright, so we'll do this. One. Let's 
Marco and get the other cube through here like so. Alright, now from here we're going to do our rotating whatchamacallit thingamajig not before we've put a board down there actually ok we need to do this first do this first so we will line this up right about there should be good This is going to point downwards. However, before we do that, we need to set the pole up on the other side. So let's go and do that. Or else we won't be able to have anywhere to fling through on the other side. here then we'll place this one somewhere around there and we hope and pray we've got this in line with the laser the cube down below looks good now I should be able to do I hope Excellent. That would be cleansing gel. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, so to get to the exit, we need a single laser connection. And not entirely sure where that's coming from. Just make sure we save before we go any further. Okay, so there is our return path. Now we can get that out there. Could probably put some gel here. So, if we put gel there, we can bounce up to the top, which would kind of make sense. So let's just try and think about what we're going to do here. We could potentially have laser coming through here to there. So the hardest I'll fizzle both the cubes. Well, no, yeah, I'll fizzle one cube at least, the red cube. Yeah, no, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, so, um, it doesn't really matter where we do this. I think that we are going to want some gel, but in essence, portal on there. And we would ride this up to here. And then we go through here with the cube. Uh, oh, we can't though, can we? Um, hmm. Alright, well we could have done that, and then we could have changed the portal to here actually. Brought the cube through and pointed it to there. The issue now, we need, we need some gel or something in here. In the side. So how do we go about getting some gel over here? Don't miss a stretch. Sorry, Pogo Green. How do we go about getting the um, cube or gel in that final area? Work that out. 
and then the map is done. I really wish like the um, the channel point rewards would come up in the um, in my main in my chat feed because uh, I often do miss some. You want, you want downward dog? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I'll be back. Oh, shit, me back. Oh, fucking hell, me back. Let's <laughs> go, Space Gear. How you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Here's a question. Does anyone consider that ninja? Now you could say that was on the wrong portal. All right, let's reload save because I want to. I want to go back. Turned sixteen today. Oh my goodness, sixteen. When you were born, when you were born, I was just starting my second year of university. There's a life fact for you. Alright, so. Here's what we can do instead. Just to double, you know, not to double check, but this will work better. I don't feel so cheap now, because that's quite an obvious shot right there. Now we can do this and turn off laser collision. And then we're going to want to, instead of walk through here this time, this is going to allow us to bring the cube through to this side. I may be doing this a little bit um, prematurely, but I'm not sure. I think I, to be fair, even if the um, the port was a bit low, Atom, I think like, I need it over here more than anything because that would still be uh, it's only a half great, I suppose. Yeah, okay. So that would still be a pretty awkward um, shot. Also, I've just like totally undone what I did before, haven't I? So let's just do this. You replay Portal 2 with all your own mods that you made three months ago. And you tried the mod to mod the laser beam, Dave, but it didn't fire. Alright, I heard a splat. Now, I don't think it really mattered that we took the cube over there because I have a feeling that we're going to need. Oh my, are you kidding me? Oh, okay. I know why. So, I know why that has done that. It's the unfortunate thing that um, um, it's the unfortunate thing that um, the portal on the gel wasn't straight. October's the best month. Yeah. Right, well, as it's your birthday, let's let's just take a moment. Let's just take a moment for Space Kitty. I don't know what this is going to sound like, but um, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, dear Space Kitty. Why did I pause that and I didn't do anything else? <laughs> Got some realism as well. You want, you want realism? Hold on a minute. Give me a sec. Turn out my ears so I can't hear the rest of it. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Oh, no, we don't want to hear Weird Al. All right, here, here's the realism. So, uh, I, I know it's a bit last minute and everything, but I did. Let's, uh, let's pretend we got a cake, okay? Here, here's your birthday candle. On the count of three, <laughs> we're gonna blow out your birthday candle, okay? You ready? One, remember to make a wish. Three, two, one. <sighs> Happy birthday, Space Kitty. Happy birthday. <laughs> Wait a minute, are those? Do you know what? I, I honestly thought that that was like a birthday cake with some like, um, with some like uh, fireworks or something on it. I mean, don't burn down my house. You, you have little. Fa you have so much little faith. That you have such little faith in me, um, Atom. All right. Anyway, uh, what was we doing? That's right. We were playing Portal. Uh -huh. Portal Two. <laughs> Bumbley's on board. I don't know why I keep firing this portal, but let's just keep firing it because. Right, anyway. I really wish, like, the, um, the bind for that would stay on in between loads. Yes, it's going to come out. I don't know why that... Actually, to be fair, I was like, no, it's because the portal is open. But that's just going straight for the portal. It shouldn't matter which orientation my portal is. I don't know why that did what it did. Birthday's 4th of July. Oh. Uh, who was it, actually? Somebody somebody made a, an interesting um, suggestion. There we go. That's what I wanted. All right, let's save that. Somebody said an interesting... Was it Leo or something? It might have been Leo. Um, said about... Um, Binding um, the laser coll laser collision removal to like your W key. Thanks to hydrate, Doctor. Um, so literally, as soon as you walk through a chamber into a chamber, it kind of activates that for you, which I thought was a pretty neat idea. All right. Anyway, let's. Um, Let's go back to stuff and things and stuff. All right, so I think now we're gonna have to like resolve the chamber, right? Pretty much. Let's see what would make things a lot easier if we took this companion cube and we place that over here, just in case we need to use it again. All right, so we need to do things and stuff. We need to take this over here. And... Plop this here. Oh, 
Okay. That's both of the cubes. Let's throw them both down there. One. Oh, little sticks. Um, I wasn't expecting that to happen, but all right, it's not too big of an issue. The cube's blocking the laser, which is a bit of a thing, an issue. All right, let's go get the other one. Oh, you're the one that came over with Coco. Sorry, I, I know somebody in the chat did. Um, sorry, I had to sort of... I had to read back the messages there. For a second, I thought he was talking about the joke. Okay, so then we take the cube. I'll do what we did before, the same configuration with these two cubes. Take the red one down to the bottom, which points into here. I was worried before about the uh, the laser not going th over, not going past uh, or not um, intersecting with that laser, but obviously that's in line with that, so it has to. Assuming I've put it straight, which I have in this case. Yeah, I guess that's how the. Um, I guess that's how the B mod stuff is doing it. Though we're not allowed to say B mod in this uh, chat because Atoms isn't working. He's still quite salty about it. I think. All right, and uh, I think I've yeah. Uh, I don't need to put that out there just yet. So I need to get back onto the other side. Get back on to the other side. Whee. Now we can push this in place. Resave. That's why you save, because nine times out of ten I'll push and shoot the wrong pole. Alright, let's try a black portal there instead. Looks loads better. I'm not really sure what the um well, that's for. The cleansing gel. Oh. Hey ho. Actually, I could probably save myself a little bit of work here because I could just play that there. Bounce across to here. Go through here. Triple check which port we need to shoot. Make sure it's high enough. And redirect. Nice little puzzle. Definitely harder than, uh, definitely more than a 2 out of 10. I'd probably score that a, a good, a, a solid 4. A solid 4 out of 10. But, um, yeah. Awesome source. All right, next up, we have got Buoyancy by uh, Fernie, and this is a request from Doctorus, and this looks like it is a hammer map. It's for the, from the, uh, the old Chroma um, competition from Thinking With Portals. It's an honorable mention. Welcome to Aperture Science, Science Dynamic Buoyancy Enrichment Center. This is my bonus entry. 
of the Map Labs 14 competition Crimea in partnership with TWP. The, this underwater map is divided into three testing pools featuring the negative buoyancy cube, the neutral buoyancy cube, and the positive buoyancy cube. Sounds like uh, some uh, electric stuff um, going on with this one. This one's neat, not very challenging. Yeah, I I feel like with like a lot of the the Chrome ones that I've played, they've been really good maps. Like visually, they have been stunning. But I wouldn't say like the puzzles have been like particularly hard. But um, you won't be watching. You still need to play for the Chrome. Fair enough, something. Do you want me to? Uh, do you want me to ping you when I'm done? Um, difficulty same as the Portal to single player campaign. All right. Do with uh, fixing the leaks. Oh, I thought I was a Sears for a minute playing there. Subliminal. No, okay. We don't need to put fire extinguishers in the uh, alarms. All right, let's have a look at. Oh, okay, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Have I played Border World? I'm not sure I have. Okay, so we can't climb ladders, that's fair enough. Well, that's, that's pretty trippy. I think the only ones I've played, I've played the the winning entry. I, the the name the name eludes me at the moment. But yeah, I've played the winning entry, and I think I've played Demon Arisen's entry as well. But I don't think I've played any others. But from those two that I played, they were both um, very stunning, uh, visually stunning maps. All right, so now we get the uh, portal gun. All right, so that needs to go there. That needs to go there. Everything sounds like really weird underwater as well. Pretty neat. Yeah, Midas Exhibition, isn't it? Functioning ladders are illegal in Portal 2. Terrible. I can't jump over that. Must be somewhere that I can shoot one on there. Ah, okay. That's, yeah, that doesn't really help matters there, does it? Missing here. Other than the solution, of course. Is that what I was meant to do? I guess this is the neutral one then, right? 
I guess this is the neutral cube. That's pretty neat. That is pretty darn neat. Alright, let's uh, take a peek at the last one. I guess this one's going to go... Okay, yeah. All right, so the uh, the thing in the middle denotes the um, yeah I, 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 I see where, uh, where that's coming from. So this is just gonna go all the way up there. However, I have a hunch that I may want to. Something like Excuse me. Uh yeah, I have a hunch that I need to do something like this, although I don't need to put it there as uh, per se. I could also do Yeah. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna need to go. Yeah, no, I'm gonna need to. I need to be able to move it. I'm trying to use as. I'm trying to use as, like, few descriptive words as I can, just so, uh, if somebody is listening, I'm not, like, giving too much away. Yeah, I need to like do something like this because it needs to go like that. Yeah, I get why it's called uh, buoyancy now, definitely. That's pretty, pretty neat though, pretty neat concept indeed. Pretty neat. Don't want to press those fire extinguishers though. Yeah, like I said, though, I, I don't. I am none of the uh, none of the Chroma maps I've played have been um, particularly difficult. Um, but like visually, they're just stunning. But then I kind of expect that from TWP and those maps. So um, yeah, it's all good. One caves uh, finished. Almost reminds me of, like the Skyfair maps. Like I was uh, sort of talking about maps and uh, mappers at like the beginning of the, uh, last night's stream. I sort of alluded on the fact that um, I don't consider Skyfair its puzzles to be particularly difficult, but I do like like walking around and admiring the um, like the the hammer work and and the way the map looks. So this is Crazy Tags by Zool, and uh, hopefully this time around. Um, we won't have as much trawl as we did the one on uh, Friday night. This chamber is dedicated to Crazy Attack. Uh, congrats to Affiliate. This chamber involves turrets and some easy puzzles. The initial chamber you can see after hitting the bull is an excerpt from one of Crazy's chambers. The moment, moment, momentum, momentum tastic. Sorry, it took me a while to get that. Uh, you can probably bunny hop the turrets, but I am fine with that. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, so I would agree with that statement. Um, Deathwish, indeed. They're more like adventure maps. Hi. Epic. Alright. Let's 
see how we can get uh, rock and roll in here. So, where are we going to put the... Hey! Bubbly, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. No worries. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are doing well indeed. Good to see you. Oh, where are these turrets going to... Where's this chamber? Oh, okay. So, can I do this? Play the remake? Have you not, um, you not finished the remake yet? I thought you was playing around the same time as me, but I think that was, um, I think that was Pet Friend, actually. We have sort of finished it around about the same time. Bubbly's from... Um, I know Bubbly from uh, another stream that we um, we uh, both frequent quite uh, often during the daytime. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I managed to stay spoiler-free for a long time as well. So, um, yeah. How far are you? Uh, how far are you into it? May I ask? All right. Well, this is uh, through here. Plop this on here. Press save and walk through the door to more turrets. And that's just an. Endless turret death loop. Love to see it. <laughs> it's always great to see your enemies slap by balls. <laughs> see you later, Doctress. Good luck with the uh, the 3D animation, buddy. Hope it goes well. I will see you on Saturday stream indeed. Indeed I will. Uh oh, he's there. Thank you. Uh, note to self: move the uh, move the portals before you start doing stuff. Mm hmm. How am I going to... How am I going to wreck the turrets? I'm probably going to do this. And then I'll do this. Kaboom! This one. The second one's going to wreck me though. If I'm not careful. Um, is there a pole surface behind that turret somewhere that I'm not seeing? Kind of makes sense. No. Alright, well, in that case, we're going to need to... Hmm. This will work. It worked. Sorry, it's dead. Alright, so now we just need to get to the exit, which will be achieved by... Uh, what? Not by that. Jump, right? 
Will the remake on the same day? And there's ambulance told me so I had to call me now because the delivery to a safe place. I don't have one. He shoved it on, in the bin under your gas cupboard. Everything always comes when it's the most inconvenient at times. How is your uh, how is your health doing at the moment? Um, probably I know you've been obviously a bit uh, through the mill with stuff. Uh, all right, next up we're going to move on to atomic distance manipulation tunnels. That's a bit of a mouthful by Pick Pick Carrots. Let's have a look at this one in the workshop. Uh, this is a point of concept map meant to showcase an idea I have. It will be updated and have a custom custom voice lines, textures, and more. But for now, here is the point of concept map for you to enjoy. Okay. Yikes. Uh, floor textures on walls. That is not very nice. Also, frames on glass, perhaps. I can, I can load it off because it's Proof of concept, but I mean, hmm, the hammer work is not great at all. It's like lots of uh, lots of things clipping through lots of things. All right, so we've got some world portal shenanigans here by the looks of it. Uh, okay, so it looks like we've got some like perspective stuff going on here, which is pretty neat. The more we go through things, the smaller things get. Or the bigger things get, even, I should say. Right, where's the exit? Do we actually have to do anything to get to the exit, though? Don't like, is there an exit criteria? Uh, I hope so, because uh, also we can see right through there. I'm not sure that's uh turn it I hope I hope we don't just have to walk to the exit here because uh sorry, I'll I'll rephrase that. I hope we just have to walk to the exit here because uh, I can't actually get back up here. So there's something for me to do. There wasn't okay, that's that's pretty much it then. That is the map. Uh let's go back though, because I did see uh, an edge of safety cube over here. I know you've uh, you've been like you've been struggling for a while. I know from like the chat and stuff in Death's uh, streams. Okay, let's just uh, round and round. We go. I thought so. I thought it's sort of seen an extra safety cube or a cube somewhere. Ah, I guess not. All right. Well, it's uh, interesting. It reminds me of. Um, the uh, superliminal, the superliminal, subliminal that um, Sears 16 just played on their channel recently. There's a sec whole section which is kind of like that where you're shifting things around and you're going from like um, bigger. The superliminal, that's it. Superliminal. Uh, that's it. Should I go? That's what I'm thinking of. Your chapter fiend at the remakes. Uh, chapter 15. Um. Just trying to think where that is. Is that like the plate chapter? Some weird stuff going on with your exit elevator here as well. But yeah, no, that's a it's a pretty cool, pretty cool idea. Pretty cool idea. Um, be interested to see how you could like make that into a puzzle. I don't know how that would sort of like work in like a portal environment because like getting like bigger and smaller and like doing different things in different areas. I don't really see how that would work unless you could somehow I see I could see it working because if you could have like areas where you could only like access um by changing your highlights let's say you've got like a I don't know like a, a half block height that you can't obviously jump on if you can make yourself bigger to get up to there to then position something around and then go back to do something it could work. I, I mean, for my little brain, I wouldn't be able to um, figure out making a puzzle like that. But um, 
I'm pretty sure you could um, make a pretty pretty good puzzle with that um, that stuff. Climb with the grappling hook. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that's quite a nice little section of the game. To be fair, um, you're right on the cusp of like the uh, the the real juicy bits for sure. But I won't say no more. Uh, you can make bigger cubes and stuff with that idea. Yeah. I mean, you could do it where, like, if you, you had to, like, change your size and go, like, bigger and smaller um, and, like, position things. You could position things out at different points. But what would be really interesting is, like, if you're all restricted. Um, I'm going to get my floor because it's freaking cold. I'm stood up here. Um, the if you was forced to be small, then potentially you know that would prevent you from picking up a cube and moving a cube. And there's just like different things. Maybe you could have in one scenario, or you say the scenario here where you've got like um, you got a cube, a laser cube. It's pointing uh, lasers pointing to laser cube, and you're pointing that at a catcher. Um, so you set that up. But you have to then, the next part of the puzzle, you have to go small, but you go into the small area, but because of where you've positioned that cube, you can't actually go past that cube because you're not tall enough to jump over the cube. I don't know how you can make it into a puzzle, but that's like a real, really interesting sort of um, concept that you could employ or um, kind of like, you know, the uh, the brains in the Portal 2 community, like people like Fumbly and... Uh, Demon and you know those sort of people who can actually make good puzzles. Space Kitty, you know all of those sort of people who are actually a lot better. Uh, I'm just making sure I covered everybody off who's in the chat. Atom, of course, yeah, Atom. Just making sure I covered everybody off who's in the chat. Because <laughs> you're all great map makers, and I appreciate everything you do for the community, guys. You honestly, you really do drive this community and keep it a fun and fantastic place to be. Okay. Three and a half thousand maps into my Portal Two community, um, Portal Two community journey. Almost two thousand hours on record in Portal Two, and uh, we're still going strong. And it's all because of you guys and the amazing content you are playing. So, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate you all. Um, yeah, when you're tiny, lazy lasers absolutely incinerate you. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool indeed. All right, next up, we are moving on to more difficult territory. Um, we are moving back to Sheepdog, and we all know how long the last Sheepdog map took us. Um, so I like to decrypt this uh, base 64 stuff that uh, he puts in maps. Let's have a look to see what we got this time. Uh -huh. There's a good reason you don't get mentioned at first. Yeah, that's because you're a meme. <laughs> oh, I love you, buddy. I love you, man. Just like a little... Just like an ARG. I don't know. Uh, Space Key, uh, not Space Key, it's not Space Sheep Cub. I think Sheep got. Oh, 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 let me start again. Sheep Dog did explain what like what all these kind of were. Um, I just kind of like got a random text, uh, a random string from that. Um, text decimal, not base 64. Uh, but yeah, anyway, back to the map. This is a difficulty six, and this is with the on off concept. Um, so the on-off switch is a yellow button, the player or a cube can press the button. When the player is when the button is pressed, the portal gun works as normal. When the button is not pressed, the player cannot shoot portals, but existing portals will not be removed when a player walks through an emancipation field. Geometry and initial concept is inspired by this test. Which is on off. Is that Hugo, isn't it? I think that's a Hugo. Yeah, I can tell by the art style right there of uh the thumbnail. That was a, a Hugo B designer. I didn't even notice it was written there either. Oh uh, yeah, okay, so it's inspired by a Hugo test. Um, so I think, remembering back to that one, that involved um, funnels and gel. So I expect to see funnels and gel. 
Um, we don't have any of those in the uh, tags, which is promising. Uh, if it feels unintended, it is unintended. Example, the cube press the cube pressing a button by a couple of pixels. No explosive glitches. The map is one long sequence, so it can be very unforgiving. F6, highly recommended. And you have to be a machine to get through this map. All right, guys, it's that time. I should get, do you know what? All right, all right, let's, let's do this properly. Don't, don't say it yet, Deathwish. Don't get, don't do it yet. We need, we need, we need to do this properly. We, we need to do this properly. Um, All right, are you ready for this? Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of the stream again where Deathwish steps in and he is offering out monetary prizes. You guessed it right, ladies and gentlemen. It is that time, it is Guess the Airboats! with Deathwish808. All right, guys, we had a winner last night. Mika was the uh, the prize winner last night. And foolishly, I didn't think to write down uh, the correct amount. So um, I'm a little bit in the dark, but uh, you know how this works, guys. If you uh, guess within uh, within Deathwish808's um, parameters, within his allowed concept, uh, let me again. If you get within his range that he has set is okay, you will win yourself a monetary prize, a steam key or something completely random, which may even be uh, a slap by a wet fish around your face knowing Deathwish 808. So if you want to get involved, all you have to do is write down in the chat how many airboats you think Deathwish 808 has. As a bit of a clue, I think it is oh, just over, or I think last night's guess was somewhere in the region of 40,000 um airboats so it's going to be more than forty thousand. but place your bets now ladies and gentlemen and uh i will um i'm gonna start off the the bidding with uh forty two thousand three hundred and fifty six. there we go that's how many i'm going for all right anyway on to the map with the on off concept here I must remember tonight to make a note of the uh, the winning bid as well. <laughs> I'm also going to need to uh, make a copy of that fanfare. That was pretty awesome. Alright, so we have Light Bridge, which is controlled by that cube and that button right there. Wow. I got going in uh, real high there. <laughs> uh, spoilers, uh, I've probably been streaming for about two hours top since the last guess was won, so uh, yeah. Looks like here we can place the cubes and maybe climb up this area over here. <laughs> ah, okay. So now that we're here, we're actually, actually stuck in this area, which is interesting. Mm, we're not stuck, actually. We can go out this way, potentially. Uh, but we can't fire anything up there. There is an absolute fizzler around about there. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Sorry, Fumbly. This is... you got to realise, this, this is like the most serious competition on Twitch right now. Mark my words, next week everybody's going to be doing Guess the Airboats. Of course, we've got the uh, got the the monetary monetary rights to to the game. So uh, I mean, yeah, we're going to be laughing when everybody's playing Guess the Airboats. <laughs> it's it's uh, looking pretty spicy. Oh, so I was the closest. I was the closest. I can't remember what it says. Forty two thousand something. 
Um, all right, but what? What? Okay, so the next question then, Deathwish. What were your what were your set parameters, and was I within the parameters? <laughs> Space Cat, I no longer have this feeling. You don't got this feeling anymore. Alright. And okay, what if then we did that we did that? We could potentially now do this. I don't think it's gonna help us too much because we're gonna I can just yeah, alright, I can do that. Um but when we walk through shoot this portal here. All we're gonna achieve here is the ability to get the cube and um, put it on here, right? Okay. So let's try over here. All right, so. Gotta be in with the 100, so. Cue up the next sound effect. Deathwish 808. Did I guess, within 100 airboats. Did I win? I need a symbol. 42,026. Well, I've, I think I went like, I think I was what, 200 over? I think I was 200 over. So. So then we need like sad trombone. Womp, 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 womp. Right, so. Why would we need to come up here, I wonder? Just send me a Steam key anyway for being the closest. Do you know what? Do you know what? Don't send it to me. Don't send it to me. Let's um right, let's let's deviate slightly. Don't send it to me. Let's set up a um let's set up a um a giveaway. For uh, everybody that's here. Um, and, okay. All right, so. Uh, you just type exclamation mark, enter me into the chat, and um, we can, uh, we'll do a giveaway. We have got, we'll leave it open for a minute, and then I'll close it down, and then I will, the uh, bot will pick a winner at random. So if you want to potentially win a random sticky courtesy of Deathwish808, please, uh, please uh, enter exclamation mark, uh, enter me. And uh, get the opportunity to uh, stinky. Death wishes into his own giveaway. <laughs> Quality. That's not center in my window. What a miserable rainy day it is out there today, jeez. Now like winter's starting to kick in. My uh, my solar lights down the bottom end of my garden aren't uh, I'm charging through that. They're already... Yeah, exclamation mark, enter me probably, just without the, uh, what you have to do. Do the rainway go away dance. To be fair, I, I don't think I know that one, Coco. I'll be honest, I don't know that one. Ring, ring, go away. <laughs> and of course, it's at that moment the streamer realizes he's live on stream and clips are regularly made on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right, guys, last 30 seconds. Anybody else want to gain on this? Uh, exclamation mark, enter me in the chat. And uh, I'll pick a winner at random momentarily. Go back to the action. Could have done with some, I tell you what. I, I'm gonna have to like, I have to get loads of sound clips. We could, we just need some. I should listen to elevator music for 10 hours. I'm, I'm down with that. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's, uh, the giveaway is now closed and uh, the bot will pick a winner momentarily at random. Good luck, everybody. The winner of this random mystery Steam key courtesy of a Deathwish 808 is... Fumbly! Congratulations, Fumbly. Congratulations. Deathwish will be in touch and uh, present you with your prize. Thank you, everybody, for uh, joining in. It's raining early. Yeah, we've, it's been raining like most, like since about like, like evening time, early evening here, probably. I think it's probably come up north from you. All right, anyway, back to the action, shall we? Let's get back, let's get back to the action. We are playing a, uh, a Portal 2 map after all. Uh, all right, so how are we gonna do this? Uh, all right, so I think maybe let's, um, let's start by doing that. Now, I have a feeling that we're probably gonna wanna pull there somehow, so I'm guessing Probably gonna want to get something over there as well. Oh, yikes, I forgot about that. Hmm. Been winning things on uh, been winning things in Death Stream. Right, let's clear the poles again. And then I think I'm going to want to do all there. Too low to get on the pole there, though, aren't I? Uh, probably the cube before, right? I'm all in a muddle. I can't remember what I did. I'm all in a muddle. What I want to do is get a pole on there and walk through there to get back up to the top. That's what I needed to do. Alright, let's... Um, attack this a different way. Um, not sure that was a different way, but... Okay. All that. All that. Not sure what I did. Not sure what I did, and not sure if there's any help to me. Right, we did this, we did this, we went across to here. We put that on the button. Please release the cube knock, thank you. And yeah, we must have done Did 
you know what, in all seriousness, how did I, how did I get the... How did I get onto Lightbridge before? Because it doesn't seem like it's possible. Now, I'm pretty sure I didn't do anything different. Unless I used the... Uh, Uh, wait a minute, we could have done, um, to do that. Yeah, okay, this is what we did, this is what we did, okay, panic over. Panic over, panic over! Don't panic, don't panic! I almost feel like watching that. Watching that stream back earlier on that I was mentioning earlier kind of put me in like a bit of a just on a bit of a nostalgia trip, sort of like the the energy and the enthusiasm I used to do my streams and videos with. Not that I don't do my streams with energy and enthusiasm these days, but um, yeah, I feel uh, in a sillier than normal mood tonight. So uh, please do ignore me. Alrighty then. So we're over here. And um, we now have access to the portals and the f uh, light bridge. Now, light bridge isn't going to make too much of a difference at this point. And that's behind glass to prevent that precise movement there, I guess. So, um. Here, I wonder. Well, we could do this. Uh, do you mind telling us what what Fumbly? What did Fumbly win, Deathwish? You don't mind telling us? What was the uh, what was the winning game? So if we had a cube, we could like go down to there. That doesn't help us though because of that there. So we would need, oh, hold on, hold on. Maybe I can lift the cube off the button. Yeah, look at that so now. That has done that. We can now walk across to here. Then over to there, walk over to there, and then over to that area there. Excellent. Fantastic. Okay. Stickman fighting. Sounds epic. Also. Stickman fighting. I think I've seen that on the stick on the store actually. Enjoy that, uh, enjoy that stick man beat him up action fumbly in between your uh, uh, golding farewell, right? Because we all know you got that. Alright, so that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Maybe done by tomorrow. Thought so. Alright, so we came across here thinking everything was all rosy and Jim, but I'm not so sure anymore. Unless Hmm, I would need to respawn that cube there. That 
cube gets respawned like so. Now I'm pretty screwed. For lack of a better term. Yeah, Fumbly's golden in farewell. Um, they are, I think, the last attempt they were. I think. Did you say you was down to. Um, and then you say he was down to about 78 deaths. Fumbly. I think. And it's, it's Fumbly's last golden as well. It's a hype in the chat for Fumbly. Currently rocking the. Uh, the 24 golden berries with only a solitary berry to go. 79. The golden room. The biggest meme. The biggest meme in history. I remember when Farewell, when I first finished Farewell and I was, um, because my entire my entire player through player player through my entire playthrough of Celeste is on on the channel and I remember oh I could have dropped that one to there maybe that's what I should have done all right let's read it um I remember when I um when I finally finished farewell and I finally found the moonberry on my own I went back to um some of the bits and pieces and I was like going around the debug room looking for like extra hidden secrets when I found like the uh, I found like the Kevin room and, and different bits and pieces. And I remember finding that room because it's if, if you go into debug, it's like way off. Um, it's like seriously way off in the distance, ridiculously way off in the distance. Um, you like the giveaway thing for the future streams uh, I'm in I'll give away a steam key every stream and an airboat portion and the airboat portion winner will get 10 US dollars if you are within within 10 or within 100 so we did within 100 last night Yeah, the um, the the final golden room. When when you look at it on debug, it's like all the way, like over as far right as you can go. Like you pretty much like scrolled the entire way to the right. You don't think anything's there, and then all of a sudden, this little tiny room pops up in the bottom corner. And I was like, "What? What is that?" And um, yeah, it's the um, yeah. I would, I would. It's up to you. I mean, it's up to you how generous you want to be. Within ten, within a hundred, entirely up to you. Let me just uh, add this to a notepad, and I'll. Uh, Trying to remember to sort that out later. I mean, we don't want to. We don't want to bankrupt you, man. So, uh, I mean, it's whatever you're comfortable. If you want to do ten, you want to do a hundred. It's entirely up to you. You um, have you got any speedrun space key? Just out of interest, do you uh, do you speedrun the game at all, or are you just uh, more the completionist? All right, so I think I'm on the right lines here. Um, I need to raise that up, but while I'm on the other side. Then the 7D? Are we talking like Monica's D sides? Oh, I've seen my I know I know full well Monica's D sides, man. They are brutal. 
I managed to do prologue, and then I couldn't even do the first screen of City. <laughs> That's how bad I, I, I played that. All right, so let's, let's just focus a moment. Um, I need to... Um, pretty much be here. What happens if we do this? I can jump over here, which is what I expected. And then I can go on to here. I don't want to see what that takes me to share because that's uh, spoilers. Um, so, I need to get the cube... Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. It's maybe not as maybe not as difficult as I think. Just probably need to utilize the uh the other portal and then we'll be golden. Um No, I haven't seen the the only person I've seen play it um is like the the um streamer both uh myself and Fumbly are, are present in um uh, a lot of the time, Death Unites us. Uh, he's he's just actually got back into speedrunning, and he's um. Oh, let me think what I'm doing. Yeah, he he did the uh, the D sides completely blind, um, including Final Farewell, which was which was something. As you. Uh, no full well, I'm sure. Uh, at the time, and he's actually he's actually done them. He did it twice. He he did he did all the D sides, and then I don't know if Monica um, like made final good, final goodbye later, or if they made a lot of changes to it. It's one of the two. But then, in preparation for that, he played the entire thing again. And then, the first time he did the D-sides as well, um, he also did the um, the hidden E-side as well. Like the, like the one long, the one stupidly long map. Which was quite crazy to see. Uh, okay. What am I, what am I doing here? I genuinely... I'm confused. Alright, let me go back out here. So I want to do that, but that's going to put that in the completely the wrong position. I thought by doing what I was doing there, I could have gone through and readjusted, but obviously I can't. I thought I could utilize this portal surface here to walk across a little bit. Maybe I've, I don't know, have I jumped the gun a bit? Did I jump the gun? But then... Yeah, I'm, I'm currently playing through the... Um, the spring collab at the minute. I got about, I think I got about four more, four more levels to do before I get to the heart side on the advanced. And it's sort of, I, th I think at the moment for my ability, it's probably after advanced, I'm going to be struggling a little bit. So I don't know how much more I'll be able to do at the moment. So then I might decide actually to uh, head back to Golden's for a bit. So, yeah, I need to cue 
you to counter there. Do that. Yeah, I'm still I'm still on it. Um I I believe I'm like more than capable of doing it, but I'm just I think because I've I've attempted it so many times and I say this all the time with Golden Bros Bray runs and I never learn. I never ever learn. Um Because I've done them so much I just have the tendency to rush and then I just always make silly mistakes and then after about a half hour of not getting anywhere I feel a bit I feel like I feel burnt out so then I just sort of like put it on the back burner and have a rest from it um, so yeah that's sort of where I am I really want to go back to it though um, especially like fumbly has been like a massive inspiration on the uh, the gold berries for me. Like a massive inspiration. So. Kind of. Want to get on with it. And get back to it. But at the same time I don't. Yo. What's going on buddy? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome along. Having a fantastic day. So yeah, I think what I've done here is I've taken a back step, and I don't think it's going to help me in the slightest. Um. Before going into the the collab, though, I did. Um, again, it was fum Fumbly was doing it first, and then I kind of like, yeah, okay, that'd be a good challenge. I did the, um, or attempted the uh, to do a um, dashless. I did a dashless run to summit, and I completed it with the exception of one room. And when I looked at the strap for the room, I was just like, nah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Um, the final room in the um, summit. So was it? Gra no, it was. Was it Grabless? I thought it was Dash. No, yeah, no, sorry, you're right, Fumbly. Yeah, Grabless. Grabless wasn't it? Yeah, the. Um, it was the final room in Summit. Uh, Temple Summit. That's where I kind of. Oh, hold on. Iron. How does one check their posture when they are stood up? <laughs> uh, how you doing, everybody? Hope you're well. Welcome, welcome. Could be slouching. Don't know what you're talking about. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm still perfectly straight. I ain't slouching. You're slouching. I'm telling you. Oh well. I tell you what though. My legs are getting pretty tired. <laughs> as much as I love this whole stand up, stand up, sit down. I think I'm spending. Too much time at the moment sitting, uh, sorry, standing, and my l feet and legs are killing because I am really not used to it. It'll make me hydrate from now on. Alright. Alright. I'm out of drink though, so no point hydrating me anymore. <laughs> bin of Pepsi Max cans grows ever bigger. Uh, Alright, come on. We need to... I need to focus for a minute. Um, I 
I only have my wife's cast off, so, you know. I don't drink a full can. I don't care for the stuff normally. But, I'm not one for wasting. Alright, so we're back in this situation here where we've got the, uh, the cube sat above the button. And... Alright, what, what does this do? I never really looked at this outline here. Okay, that disables that field, okay. Okay, so we can walk through there. Do what? I don't know what we would do. Run to the store and buy Pepsi Max. Uh, a knock IRL stream. Alright, so what what will this give me here if I do this? I can do what exactly? Run around there, stand on the bridge. Can't do anything with that. Deathwish wants a, a knock IRL stream. I don't know if I shared this idea with you like or not before, but I really wanted to do like a, an out I wanted to do an outdoor stream in my garden this summer. But uh never really got around to it. Well I have now got stable internet down uh, down the bottom of my garden, so you know, maybe next year we'll do a an outdoor decking stream or something on my decking. Hot tub stream. Anybody want to do it? Yeah, do a, a knock knock hot tub stream. Anyone? <laughs> God. All right. So we could potentially do that. We could run around there. I don't see what the point would be though. All right. So what I'm thinking is I could. I don't mean I'm quite sporadic at the minute. What does like pressing that button? What does that do for me? I don't think I've even got enough time to do this, have I? No. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. <laughs> Was it saying chat or something? You said your own name? What? You have to have shots for hydrates. I feel that's been done already on the stream, Deathwish. Can't you know? My my memory is a little bit fuzzy. I'm pretty sure the the shot thing on stream has been done before. Right, what? Okay, I might have... I might see something here. Oh, I can't. still can't shoot that portal there. Huh. 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 Hmm. I was thinking... Could I... I could put a portal on here, this side. Then, is it doable? I put Paul on that side there. Went through, walked through. 
bit of a way that I could just reset this light bridge up there. I can walk through, walk past the laser field, walk through the yellow fizzler. Assuming the cube was on the button. Ah, yeah, that would work. Okay. Alright, so next question is... Next question is... Stop it. <laughs> okay, go, go. Um, what are we trying to do? The the speed run, speed run ban from Twitch and YouTube. <laughs> oh dear. I get my uh, I get my hat and my sunglasses. Look like Heisenberg and yeah. <laughs> All right, so what I'm thinking is, what I'm thinking is, switch to what now? I don't know how to retain that. I don't know how to retain that one there. That, that uh, portal there, that's a problem. But if I could have a portal there with the laser, sorry, the cube on the button, So you got to drop down here, and that's where everything kind of falls apart a little. And by a little, I mean a lot, because it just completely breaks. But yeah, if I could be there with a portal over this side, I could press the button, I could come through, the key would be on the button so I could use a portal, I could fire it on the higher position, so just to, just to give an example. Uh, we came through here like this. Let's imagine that's there. We would be here like that. Although that wouldn't be there. So we come through here like this. We'd then be able to do this. And do we clear this there? That's the problem. Yeah. Uh, no, we'd need to cube here. Man. Okay. <laughs> let's uh let's not go there. That was all the way over there. Yeah, okay, we can jump across. Okay, so I think that's what we got to do. All right, so. The new goal is... I'm not particularly sure I've... Uh, I'm not particularly uh, sure I really want to try that, to be fair. Iron, I'll be completely honest. In the words of uh, Helen Lovejoy from, uh, from The Simpsons, When somebody please think of the children! I'm not sure I want my kids taken away from me. <laughs> Though some days... <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, I'm... My, my main... My, my main? My mind is not in this at the minute at all. I think we've sort of deviated like so much on this stream <laughs> um, my focus has been completely and utterly lost I think I've got like the right ideas though I think we need to be on that side without the light bridge so we need to work out how we can get across to there Uh, 
How do we get across to there? With a cube there. Yeah, distraction 100, man. Seriously. I'm not complaining, though. We've had an absolute blast tonight. Last two streams have been, like, just such a blast. Such a laugh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Coco. <laughs> Um, yeah. What, what am I guessing, Iron? What am I guessing? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I might have an idea. Why am I doing that when I could simply do... Oh, because it's not on the... Hmm... Yeah, I thought I could just drop down there and just do that instead, but no, alas, I can't. <laughs> I'll, I'll be I'll be inspecting the Halloween ca the the Halloween trick or treating bowls for the kids. You know, gotta be gotta be wary. You know, Sh Coco might be out there lurking in the shadows. Spiking my kids' uh, sweets with uh, ketamine. <laughs> uh. All right, so instead. Uh, you see, I, I need to be... Sweets toast taste so sharp. Oh, cool! This one's got red right in the middle of it. Anyway, back to uh, back to regular programming. Uh, yeah, I'm. I I think I'm gonna have to leave this here tonight because I am completely and utterly distracted. And. Um, I'm, I'm not... My mind is not in this at all. At all. Um, so, I think I'm going to leave it there for... <laughs> I know, right? Um, I'll leave this... Uh, I'll leave I'll leave Portal 2 here for tonight and then we will pick it up again on um, Saturday night. So, because we're all in, like, so much... Um, so much of a, a good sort of, like, bantery kind of mood... Um, I got, I got another twenty minutes, half an hour. Anybody fancy uh, finishing up with uh, a game of Jackbox? And if so, which Jackbox would you like to play? We got packs one to four. Assuming I've got them all installed, of course. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we can uh, have a bit of a laugh and a giggle finishing up with Jackbox, or we can just sit and we can just sit and chat. We can chat. But uh, YouTube side of it for the for the uh, YouTube portion of this, um, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate we're back with uh, the rest of this map. Hopefully soon we'll be a bit more focused on Saturday night, and uh, we will attack this as best we can. But until then, guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been Ocubin. Awesome. Stay safe and happy gaming.